Hi. Hi. Pretty in Hi. pink. Look at you. I just got back from Los Angeles. I was visiting some really good friends of mine and just started getting this idea in my head that I want to like relocate just for the winter. Like get away from Chicago, get away from all that's happened and travel back and forth to do work there. And I just love this broker, Michaela. And I thought, just call her. And I'm just figuring out if I want to change it up. You look so nice there. You're outside with no jacket. I know, it's sunny and beautiful out here. So what's going on? I'm just at a crossroads. I don't know where I wanna be. I really think I want to explore coming out to LA. So I was thinking the best thing to do would be get a rental. Let me take a look and see what's available. And I had another thought. I just got this place in the Hollywood Hills. It's in shambles. It's a 1923 Spanish and I want you to do what you do in Chicago and come do this with me in LA. Are you serious? What do you think about it? Is it just a gut rehab or is it a total, is it, what, what, what are you thinking? It needs love and it needs to be restored completely. I mean, duh. Those are those moments and I'm not kidding, they happen to me my whole life where it's just like, everything happens for a reason. So great, look at all this space. I know, it does feel very grand. Mm -hmm. You know? With the archways yes. and all the details. And the Hollywood signs right there. Right there, the observatory's over here. It's so cool because it's just, Look, this is the history that I love. Yeah, a piece of Hollywood. Yes, and just old Hollywood. I know. It's like this kind of Spanish re revival. I mean, that's what we're gonna do. Spanish revival, yeah. Andalusian. But we're doing the revival part. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I can't wait to see inside. These are absolutely getting saved. Yeah. Used we'll somewhere. Yeah, we'll use them somewhere. Yeah. This is so pretty. Look at this. This has to be a moment. Look at this. The pictures do it no justice. That was it incredible. Look at even but look like at the detail on the ceiling, this. the arches. The arch of the ceiling. And like, so this, this is unreal. This used to have a mirror. The whole back, the whole was, back a was all mirror, it was like antiqued mirror. And look at the light coming in. That was all caved in here. The house had been vacant, you know, and it was right. boarded up and there was so much termite damage and water damage. So this is gonna be the staircase to the next level. I mean, this has to be like one of a kind, spiral, iron. Oh, you haven't even made it into the main space and you're already, wow, wow, wow. This is just this moment. Like it's like for just the sight lines. Isn't it gorgeous? This stays. Absolutely. It's absolutely. This home needs a facelift. It has these beautiful entryway arches and they're mimicked throughout the house, but it really needs just a gut rehab in order to bring it back to life. We're gonna expand the Spanish style throughout by adding even more arches for symmetry, a fountain in the foyer, and a really cool vintage spiral staircase to access the upstairs. You can't have too many arches. No, in you my can't. Opinion. This has to come down. We have to see a kitchen. That absolutely. has to be. This needs to be kitchen dining. We need to open the space up by removing the wall so the main living space flows right into the new beautiful kitchen. The current layout for both the kitchen and dining area are really small and they're just not functional. So we're gonna relocate both rooms to a more centralized area of the house and then Ari is gonna make a new custom front door. Was this a patio? Yeah, a terrace. This was a terrace for the bedroom. And, and there were two doors here that, oh, that accessed pretty. it. It was really pretty. But if this now is a kitchen, I don't know if you'd necessarily need access from there. What if that becomes the door? Right. To the outdoor terrace that way, because this wall won't be here anymore. No, then you can just, you don't need to have three doors out there and then you can have more space outside yes. to put furniture. So this now, this is like, this is your outdoor this is your terrace. Mm -hmm. Here's your money shot. This yep. is like, you walk out, you're having your coffee in the morning, and like, this blocks off the street, so that's stucco, right? And it's privacy. And then, boom, this is all iron, and this is like... Don't you ugh. love that? I love it. We're going to add a private terrace that branches off the main house and overlooks our front yard, which will be transformed into an outdoor oasis with all new landscaping and an above-ground cedar hot tub. Michaela and her husband acquired this Spanish-style home in the Hollywood Hills for $1 million. 
With our budget of $550,000, our projected sale is $2.6 million. With a $1,050,000 profit, which as an investor, I will share with her and her husband. So it's a collaboration. And Michaela loves design and she's got an eye for it. But I think what I bring to the table is how I can breathe new life into them. So anything that, that allows me to breathe in new life to myself and into an old home in Los Angeles, like, duh. Of course I'm gonna do it. Frank's team is busy refinishing framing and installing new windows, which are going to pair beautifully with our stucco and really give us that Spanish look. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? What is this Very called? Good. In Moroccan, it's Raboz. With an Raboz. F? Raboz. Raboz. It's beautiful. So today I am at Badia Design and really coming here because Gower is a Spanish revival. And there are pieces that I think would just fit so perfectly with this home. So it's total gut job, but you know, want to keep with the guts and like I really love the, I don't know, I just love the Moroccan flair, but still also a little bit of a Spanish flair too. Okay, well, you're in the right place. I know. So I immediately like go up because I love brass. So all of these light fixtures, all the lanterns, but there was one in particular. I do want to show you this. Yeah, sure. I was looking immediately at this one. So I have dining room slash kitchen nook. So it's formal, informal. Okay. You walk in the front door, you look to the right and the new archways that we made, you would see this. That's a beauty. All right, let's see this stuff. So right in that entry, we have this beautiful arched opening. What if that becomes a fountain? So it's immediately like really zen when you walk in. I like this combo. I mean, the color's beautiful, but like I love just a muted white tile. So the arched opening is pretty massive. Okay. So I'm just trying to think like what else would be there? Like, well, I mean, if, if this is too small, you can always make it extended with some more tiles around it. Yeah. Assuming you have tiles like this? Yeah. So it's all the same thing? The tiles are just replica? Yes, I mean, they are Somewhere? done the same way that they've been oh, done like, 500 years ago. It's like a candy shop. And you can see it, like all of like the etching and you can just see the history in it. And you don't get much more Spanish than that with a sautille tile that is truly reclaimed. I've got a fine tile for the fireplace hearth and the secondary bathroom. And now all of a sudden I see this big mosaic that has the arch that mimics the fountain. And if I could tie those things in together and have that secondary bathroom tub shower with the same arch, great, mine. While I was in Chicago, a lot was getting done over at Gower, including interior drywall and exterior stucco. And today I'm gonna meet up with Frank to take a look at progress for myself. Frank? Allison. Hi. Hi. It looks so Welcome. good. Welcome. It looks great, doesn't it? I love this. Things are evolving over at Gower, especially when it comes to that front yard. So we'll have um, tons of landscape, some guest parking, and then boom, this becomes really the next level of yard. You know, I love the layers of it. Mm -hmm. So now it's like you have this kind of yard here off the flex space. You've got the jacuzzi and kind of a cool hangout area up here. And then you've got more yard and then parking. It's just gonna be so grand. All of the light fixtures are gonna make a massive difference. You did a beautiful job. It's yeah. very nice outside. I know. That's a moment. Isn't even that? just without the fountain. I mean, even the archway, archway, it's really a beautiful look right through. That was a good idea. It's pretty. I'm an arch freak. Are you? Yeah. I, I can love, tell. I love the quantity of arches in this house. It's like I've I've taken it to a whole new level. We're getting so close to the finish line and this house really is starting to take shape.
Luis got the electrical and gas lines in, and the landscape plan Michaela and I did is looking great, and this outdoor space is gonna be gorgeous. Ari's custom door arrived, and it really complements our beautiful spiral staircase. So the last time I was at Gower, the outside was like, what's happening? So to pull up today, I was in just complete and total awe. It's it new. just looks. I mean, the DG it here looks like a new. secret garden. Hi. It's really Michaela and I had seen this house when it was boarded up. And now what they have done is completely transform this house. It made perfect sense to reveal the house to Ken and Steven because we're not putting it on the market right away. I need some feedback, and I know my honest feedback is coming from my two best friends. Plus, they know all the issues we've had to deal with. First impression, what do you think? Wow. It's beautiful. It's like up here in this canyon and all these beautiful trees. You don't see these big trees anywhere. And I can just tell by their faces, because I see, like, Steven's like. OK, so this was a, like a third car garage. We were gonna do doors here and make it a room, make it like a yoga room or an office or something, but then we decided to leave it open so it's more airy, and now it's like our cabana room. And, come here, there is not a lot that's original from this house at all, but look, this is, when you walk in the front door upstairs, this was to the left. Wow, really I like purpose. that. Isn't that right. pretty? Yeah. Then when you do this, it's like, boom. The vantage point of the new front door. Look at the door. Which is brand new to open that window up to see the walkway and vice versa down from the front door in. Just moments of beauty and, and curiosity. So that set the tone. And everywhere we walked and talked, that same feeling was kind of coming through of just proud and excited and impressed. So Kayla and her sister, along with Luis, because his guys helped kind of plant everything, they pulled all the plants and did all this in like the last week. Oh wow. You've got everything that's like heart, right? Like really cool, defined, very like straight edge planters mm -hmm. and then like super organic and like flowy planter beds. And Ooh, all wow. of the railing is brand new. The whole thing was like falling apart. Remember it was like rotting. And then oh, yeah. outdoor dining under the stars. Under the really stars, under the basket. But this, this is it. We're gonna have a drink here later. Here, come up. Let's look at it from up on the top. The hot tub's awesome. And the fact that it's cedar and it smells delicious. Oh, oh wow. Black bottom. This is sexy. I mean, how fun is this? Very cool. But I gotta see yeah. this. Come on. Let's go. You have to see inside. This entry is everything. Doesn't it feel like like you're exploring when you come in that front door and it's like you're I beelining? Keep look, I keep looking at the staircase. This is from England. I was scouring the internet and I found this. It was like $3,600 yeah. and I was like, oh my shipping God. Shipping was more. <laughs> yeah, shipping, shipping was about the same. From the vintage sautille tile from France to the brass sconces that I found to the fountain from Badia with the brass accents the stair railing from England. Every moment in this really tiny space is a statement. I love this floor, okay? It's original? I love, it's, love it. No, well, it's antique sautille tile from France. As you walk in here and you look back, they're like lit up jewel box oh. bookcases. And who doesn't like sh open shelving? Well, you we continued your arches. There was this arch and the mirror arch. And okay. we made these two arches these here are and then we made those. They're so cool. And wait till you see, again, every vantage point, like when we're in the kitchen, you're looking back this way, everything's a picture frame to the next room. That's the way I look at it. Right. Because each room is a piece of art and that arched frame just leads you into it. And the old kitchen was back here. It was like a little teeny tiny galley kitchen. Okay. So we just kind of reconfigured the spaces. Flip-flopping and taking the kitchen from the galley to where the main bathroom and bedroom were. We just got a true chef's kitchen, huge island, lots of cabinetry that are kind of hidden away where the fridge is. It's simple, it's sophisticated, it's sexy, it's Spanish. Does it work? A lot of S's. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it it's the original. Yeah. Perfect. It works. Wood That's burning. the original wood burning fireplace. 